that says in 16 and 17, write each of the two statements in symbolic form and determine whether they are logically equivalent. Include a truth table and a few words of explanation to show that you understand what it means for statements to be logically equivalent. So this says if 2 is a factor of n and 3 is a factor of n, then 6 is a factor of n. 2 is not a factor of n or 3 is not a factor of n or 6 is a factor of n. So there are three individual statements that are being reused throughout both of these statements. We have 2 is a factor of n, we have 3 is a factor of n, and we have 6 is a factor of n. So green will be p, red will be q, and blue will be r. So the first statement is p and q implies r. The second statement, which we're trying to determine whether it's logically equivalent to the first statement. The second statement is two is not a factor of n, which is not p, or three is not a factor of n, which is not q, or six is a factor of n, which is or r. So now we have to identify whether these two statement forms are logically equivalent, and we have to build a truth table to see. So first I'm gonna start with a column for not p and a column for not q. So next we do a column for p and q, and then we do P and Q implies R. Remember that the implication or the conditional is false precisely when the if part is true and the then part is false. And that's only the case in row two when we're comparing column three and column six. Every other instance, the conditional is true. Now I'm gonna jump straight to not P or not Q or R because if either one of these three statements is true, then the whole statement form is true. So we're looking at column three, four, and five. If any of those truth values are true, then the whole thing is true. And that's true every time except the second row. And now as you can see, these two statement forms have the same truth values in the truth table. So because the two statement forms have the same truth values on the truth table, this means that both statements are logically equivalent. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.